Hey, this is Overpass Insights. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, I want to make a confession. I don't know what kind of apps will be successful. Okay, so for the past couple of weeks, I've been wanting to get outside and do a video. All of my videos have been from inside the office, and every time the weather's been decent, I've been too busy, and when I do get out to do the video, it starts raining, and I'll do it from the car. So I thought, today, screw it. We're gonna test out this little wind thing on the microphone, and we're gonna try to do it outside in the wind and rain. So I got a really nice email today. In fact, a lot of the times I'll get nice emails from people who see the channel and they'll say stuff like, um, yeah, it's been very helpful. Thank you very much for indie developers. It's, it's really not, it's probably not very good for my ego, but it's very nice to hear. Or I learned about push notifications from you, or it's been very helpful for indie developers, that kind of stuff. And it's, um, yeah, it's really nice. Uh, and occasionally, well, actually a lot of the times it's followed up by questions and sometimes they're questions I cannot answer. So today I got an email from somebody, same kind of thing. Thank you very much, Eric. I um, really appreciate your videos. Uh, I've seen a lot of them. It's been very helpful. But here's my question. How can you tell if your app's going to be a success and whether or not you should put money into it or whether or not you should stop investing into it and just let it go? And this is a question I get a lot. In fact, even sometimes, we, like I'll do consultancy and that will be the first question. How do I know this app is gonna work? And the sad part is, and I've said this in many videos before, I don't know the answer to that question. I mean, I, I'm sorry, like after all the nice things that were said, I can't answer that type of question. And it's not that I don't wanna answer that question, I wish I could, but the truth is, if I knew what made an app successful, all of my apps would be successful. None of them would be non-profitable. But some of mine do, some of my apps do really well, some of them don't do so well, and we just keep producing, producing, producing. And I think you know, what I said years ago in one of the videos was, treat yourself as a main user. Is it something you would use? See, when I made my, when I made my more successful apps, I thought, yeah, this is something I could use, right? And the only problem there is discoverability. How do you get people to find it? But I've done other applications, which I thought, where I've used other, like I was learning a little bit about meditation, so I thought I was using a meditation timer app on my phone, and I thought, I could do an app like this, and then I made a, made a meditation timer. And, you know, the app store didn't need one. I didn't even need one. I didn't really know very much about what meditation people need, so I was not the perfect market. I was not the right person to make it right? I don't make apps for pregnant women, for example, for maternity, because I know nothing about what it's like to be a pregnant woman, nor will I ever do that, right? If I had like a marketing budget and, and focus groups, I could probably go out and find out all this kind of information, but I don't. As an indie developer, all I know is the kind of things that I would like. Now, I also do a lot of apps for clients, and sometimes clients will ask me questions about what an app needs or doesn't need, right? For their companies, for their employees, for their clients, and that's what I always have to say, I don't know your business. I don't know your clients. I don't know your users. That's what you have to bring to the table. And as a developer, if you're an devel indie developer making an app for the market, I think a lot of times you have to think about what would you, what would you want? So over the years, I get this a lot where I'll get uh, people come to me with their app ideas or prospects. They want to have their app built and they'll say something like, I want to do a social media app because People seem to like social media. People seem to like sharing things. And when I ask whether or not they're one of those people who like social media or sharing things, it's like, no, 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 but, but this is what kids are into, right? So they're building something for an audience they don't understand. So you can't guarantee app store success, right? But what you can do is guarantee making a good product. Like you can make the best product you could with you as the best user and then your problem is just discoverability. How do you get people in? How do you get people to find it, right? I wish I could say I was an app expert. I wish I could say I deserved all the nice things that get sent to me in emails and in comments, but a lot of times I don't, right? We, I, all I have is a bit of experience, a bit of reading, at, well, actually quite a lot of experience putting stuff out there, which I'm happy to share, right? And I'm glad it's helpful, but if I knew it would, how something could be successful, 
Dude, I do it every single time. And I don't think anybody, despite what they tell you, despite, despite what kind of course they're trying to sell you, can tell you that either. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I'll talk to you guys again next time.